Welcome to another episode of Let's Play 1001 Games, the series where I work my way through a book called 1001 Games to Play Before You Die. I'm Gaming J, and today we're playing The Oregon Trail. So this is obviously an educational video, or an educational video, it's an educational game. Uh, Oregon Trail was on all kinds of computers. I remember it on Apple IIs. Um, I, I'm running it on DOS right now. What's funny is I, I'm not sure this is the original Oregon Trail, the 1972 version. This thing, I think, has been remade so many times. Um, who are these people? Would you like to see how points are earned? Yes. Okay, so you can get an idea of how to score. Well, I don't care about any of that, really, because... Who cares about the score? We just want to beat these games. Another trivia point, who made it? Teachers. A bunch of teachers banded together to build this game, which, you know, would never happen today. I mean, imagine hearing that a bunch of teachers had banded together to make the next Halo or something like that. I mean, that just wouldn't happen. Before we play, let's let's learn about the trail a bit, since this is supposed to be an educational game. See if we can edify ourselves. So try taking a journey by covered wagon across 2,000 miles of plains, rivers, and mountains. Try. On the plains, you will slosh your oxen through mud and water-filled ruts. Well, will you? Or will you plod through dust six inches deep? Whatever that means. How will you, cut, how will you cross the rivers? Man, I'm, I'm butchering this. If you have money, you might take a ferry, if there is a ferry. Or you can ford the river and hope you and your wagon aren't swallowed alive. Like there's a monster in there. What about supplies? Well, if you're low on food, you can hunt. Makes sense. You might get a buffalo. You, you might. Okay. And there are bears. And there are bear in the mountains. Okay. At the dolls whatever that is, you can try navigating the Columbia River. But if running the rapids with a makeshift raft makes you queasy, better take the Barlow Road. Oh, there's more. If for some reason you don't survive, your wagon burns or thieves steal your oxen or you run out of provisions or you die of college, geez, it's intense for a kid's game. Don't give up. Try again and again until your name is up on the other, up with the others on the Oregon Top 10. Well, that's great. Controls. Ah, who cares? And these are people who made it. Okay. All right, let's play this. Okay. We get to choose, do you want to be a banker, a carpenter, or a farmer? I'm not going to look at the differences because I already know banker is the best. They got all the money, and just like the real world, money is what makes Oregon Trail the Oregon Trail turn. That's me. What are the first names of the other four members of your party? By the way, there's a zombie version of this you guys can get now. I think it's on Android and iOS. It's actually really fun. Uh, definitely check that out after this. Okay. I remember we always used to name the other people in the party after people in our class. So let's use the names of old classmates, if I can remember them. Okay. So there was Derek, and there was Renee, and there was Vivian, and there was Brian. Okay. Part of the fun of this game was to see who of your friends died along the way. Uh, so that's kind of fun. It's 1848. You're jumping off place. For Oregon is Independence, Missouri. You must decide which month to leave Independence. Hmm. Well, I don't know. You attend a public meeting held for folks with the California Oregon fever. I find it hard to believe there were so many people that you needed to hold a meeting for these people, but okay. If you leave too early, there won't be any grass for your oxen to eat. If you leave too late, you may not get 
to Oregon before the winter comes. If you leave at just the right time, there will be green grass and weather will still be cool. Okay, so when does grass come out, basically? We want to go as soon as there's grass. Uh, May, right in the middle, right? Seems to make sense. Before leaving Independence, you should buy equipment and supplies. You have $1,600. Yeah, because I'm a banker, yo. I live with money. Why is the banker rich? That's what I want to know. Is he stealing money from the bank? I know people who work at the bank. They're not rich. Anyway, uh, but you don't have to spend it all now. Yeah, I know. You can buy whatever you need at Matt's general store. Matt's a friend of mine, so that's nice, too. I guess he won't be dying on this journey. Hello, I'm Matt. So you're going to Oregon. I can fix you up with what you need. A team of oxen to pull your wagon and clothing for both summer and winter. Yeah, all right. Plenty of food, ammo, and spare parts. Okay, so. Well, I want oxen, that's for sure. There are two oxen in a yoke. I recommend at least three yoke. Okay, give me three. I don't trust you, Matt. I think you're upselling me. All right, food. I recommend you take at least 200 pounds of food for each person in your family. You have five. You'll need flour, sugar, and bacon. My price is 20 cents a pound. How many pounds of food do you want? They're making me do math. You told me how many oxen to buy before. All right. 200 times five. That's 1,000. You know what? Give me 1,200 because I'm rich. We're going to eat like kings. I like food. Clothing. Not going to need much of that if you know what I mean, Matt. No, I'm just kidding. We're all, we're all going to wear clothes. We're going to probably die. You'll need warm clothing in the mountains. I recommend taking at least two sets of each clothes per person. Makes sense. You don't want to just walk around the same clothes all the time. That's disgusting. Each set is $10. How many sets of clothes do you want? Uh, I got five people. Ten sets. Let's do 11. <laughs> because my guy wants three sets of clothes. And screw everyone else. Ammo. We need lots of this stuff. I sell ammo. 20 bullets in a box. Each box costs $2. How many boxes do you want? Oh, Matt. I want a lot of bullets, my friend. So if I buy 10 off 200 bullets, let's buy 20. That's 400 bullets. Oh, it's not even that much. Uh, we're going to go for more than that. If any thieves come, they're going to wish they hadn't going to blow them away because we're a banker we got the money to pay bills good idea to have a few spare parts how many wagon wheels uh give me two no give me we got money four wagon wheels oh what three okay fine three give me three axles then and give me three tongues ew i sure that's just a, a name for it I still have nearly a thousand dollars. That's awesome. I'm gonna buy some extra oxen. You know what? I want four in total. And I'm gonna buy a bit more food. Uh, what did I say before? A thousand, twelve hundred. Give me sixteen hundred, Matt. Yeah. Ah, uh, we'll keep the clothes and ammo the way it is. All right, let let's get the shindig on the road. Well then, you're ready to start. Good luck. You have a long and difficult journey ahead of you. Yeah, thanks, buddy. It just keeps going. I, I thought it would end. Um, okay, weather is cool. Health is good. Pace is steady. Rations are filling. Let's look at the map see where we are. So we are down near Independence, and we're going to Oregon. I'd rather go to California, tell you what. Can we go to L.A.? be more fun. Uh, let's change our pace. Uh, let's go at, you know, I'm a taskmaster. We're going to gruel it out for a bit while everyone's healthy. We'll slow down when people get sick. But I, I'm not only whipping oxen, I'm whipping people on this trip. Health is good. Uh, yeah, all right, let's just go. Uh, continue on trail. 
So this is the fun part where literally you just watch uh, this this cart travel across the country and people just die and get sick. You are now at the Kansas River Crossing. Would you like to look around? Yes. Stunning. The view is magnificent. Who's playing that music? Uh, there's no one to trade with or anything. You must cross the river in order to continue. At the river, the river at this point is currently 600, holy crap, and 30 feet across, five feet deep. Hmm, it's pretty deep. Attempt to ford. What's, I forget what these are. One of them's like floated across. One's like just gun it and run it and see if you make it. Means you pull your wagon across a shallow part of the river. I'm not going to do that, I don't think. Uh, I don't want to float it across because it's not deep enough. You know what? We got money. We'll, we'll take the ferry, man. Five dollars. Yes. Here we go. So thrilling. We made it. It sucked to pay in the five bucks and then like die. So the funny thing with this game is while you're traveling, people literally will just start getting sick and stuff. And I understand people getting sick, you know, like it was a time there were diseases and stuff. But what about like people randomly breaking their arms? What are they doing in that wagon where they're just breaking limbs? I mean, I hang out in my house a lot. I don't suddenly accidentally break an arm. I mean, I guess, are they falling out? Are they getting drunk? What's happening? You are now at the Big Blue River. Would you like to look around? Oh yes, let's see what there is. Is that my wagon? It's not as breathtaking as the other one. I'll tell you that. In fact, this one looks horrible. I mean, we don't need to trade. We don't need food. People are still in good health, even though we're going at a grueling pace. I don't even know what that means. What's grueling? 70 miles an hour? I mean, I guess oxen don't travel that fast. What does grueling mean? Like, we don't sleep? We just go through the night? Uh, we're just going to continue. Okay. Oh, geez. This is a baby. Three feet deep. Oh, we're just going. We're fording this. Watch, we're going to get... We're going to sink or something. Yeah. Nine sets of clothes. My God. That's... That's more than... that. We only had 11 sets. Who was naked? How did the clothes get lost? So now we have two, three naked people and two people in clothes. It better not have been my best suit, my extra set. A wagon wheel, axles, I don't care about that. That's a lot of food, though. 300 pounds of food? Couldn't even bench that. Three oxen. Oh, and Renee drowned. How do you drown in three feet of water? That's embarrassing. Okay. Well... We're off to a good start, I think. Uh, so two of our two of our people are totally naked. We have lost a, a hell of a lot of food randomly. Um, yes, I would. Can we recruit someone else here? We need a new member, I think. Okay, continue. Check supplies. Let's look at the map. See where we are. We we've lost someone. Literally, we haven't even gotten out of the state. That's embarrassing. It's just embarrassing. Talk to people. What does this do? Four soldiers. The trails from the jumping off places, independence, yes, come together at Fort Kearney. This new fort was built by U.S. Army to protect those bound for California and Oregon. Okay. Thanks. Uh, yeah, let's, let's rest. We just lost Renee. We only have one girl left in the group. How many days? Four? Three? Let's have a weekend. Nah, a long weekend. Three. I wonder what day of the week it was. May 17th, 1848. Was that a Friday? Because if so, we just partied it up for three days at uh, Fort Kearney. Okay, check supplies. Look at map. 
We're in good health. We're gonna go at a grueling pace, man. This this ain't a game. This is trying to get to Oregon. Fort Kearney. Funny thing is, oh, uh, well, we got lost. Okay. Funny thing is, nobody would go through this this much effort to actually get to Oregon these days. There's like nothing special there. Why was everyone headed there? Go to California. That's where all the action is, man. I don't know. Thief comes up. Okay, literally, we have no clothing left. Why weren't we wearing the clothes? Or another question, how good is this thief that he literally, <laughs> he stole the clothes right off of us while we were <laughs> sleeping? Our entire party is now naked. And that, you know what? You know, I would say I would leave them naked, but they'll probably just get hypothermia or something if I don't get them clothes. Still, someone has died and we're totally naked. I feel like I'm not a very good boss here. You are now at Chimney Rock. Would you like to look around? Yes. It's, uh... No comment? Okay. We need to do something. Let's trade for clothes if we can. Uh, he will trade you one wagon wheel. I don't need that, though. <sighs> this is trouble. Well, I guess let's just continue. Or let's rest. You know, let's change the pace. How about a steady pace? When you're nude, it's best not to, to push yourself too far. Uh, check supplies. Let's change the food rations. You know what? Let's be... Oh, wait. We are unfilling. Yeah. We're eating like kings. You know, why would a thief show up and steal our clothing but not the money? That's what I want to know. He's a bad thief. Chimney rock. All right. Coming up to a fort here. We are in fair health, which basically means we're nude and not doing very well. Pass a gravesite. Ooh. Yeah, see, this happened. If you played the game and you didn't make it to the end, you died, then a, a gravesite uh, would, would kick up and have your name on it. Here lies Voland. Hey, hey, hey. Come out and play. Hmm. Odd message considering the, the circumstance of our group at the moment. Okay, you are now at Fort Laramie. Proud sponsor of Laramie Cigarettes. Mmm, that tobacco warm taste. Would you like to look around? I would, because we need to do some trading. Beautiful game. You never cease to astound. It's June 4th. This is kind of like, you know what this is? This is like the equivalent of like the 1800s. It's like the college road trip. Like you pack in a car in the summer, you and your friends drive to Vegas. Only it's like you and several other people who are borderline poor going to Oregon for some reason. Were there jobs out there? Was it farming? I don't, I don't know. No one wanted to be in the East Coast, I guess. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, let's trade. Oh, no. Forget trading. We're just going to straight up buy what we need. All right. <clears throat> we have to buy some clothes, unfortunately. And now what do we need? Uh, I wish I could have used my ammo to kill that thief. I had so much. I was sleeping with bullets all around me, guns. Just took the clothes Right off me. Right off me. All right. Uh, let's rest. Let's have another three-day weekend. We're now in good health. Weather is warm. Rations are filling. The beer flows like wine in a city called Aspen. I wish we were going to Aspen. Very little warm. Oh, Brian. That's gross, man. Uh, let's, let's hunt. We haven't hunted yet. Hunting was a big part of this game. Everyone loved to hunt. Okay. Oh, oh, this is going to be, uh, fun. Let's see. Space bar. Okay. 
Ah, I got the squirrel. I got him too. We're eating squirrel tonight, guys. Good night. Nope. Damn it. Everything's like popping on the screen and then just kind of. Ugh. And once you kill something, it gets in the way of other things. I don't want to be in this corner. It keeps scaring away the deer. Look, look at that. Seven pounds. We got to redo that. I'm using the novice controls because I don't have a numpad on this particular laptop. And that may be hindering me. Oh, yeah, Bambi and his mom. Oh, and your dad too. Come here. Oh, man. We're just going to waste this. See, the problem is now we have too much meat. He died too. But I'm a killing machine. I'm bald. But I love me some deer hunting. 240 pounds of meat. We're going to have filling rations, r rations this whole trip, I'll tell you what. Okay, it's June 11th. It's rainy, severe thunderstorms. Brian's got cholera. 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 That's not a word. Ah, we broke a wagon wheel. It's just... This, this is like my actual vacations, actually. Somebody's sick. The car's breaking down. Somebody drowns while we try to ford a river. Just nothing good happens. You were able to repair it. I hope so. We had spare parts, didn't we? Uh, let's check our supplies. See what we got. We got so much food. Three and, and 300 pounds of it floated away. I just imagine some like Native American down a little farther down the river. 83 bullets? Mm. Well, I mean, I don't really need the bullets. Who cares? But it's the principle of the thing. Anyway, I imagine some Native American down the river. All of a sudden, 300 pounds of food comes floating his way. That would be... I, I would eat for a year. 300 pounds of food? How much is that? It's probably not that much, actually. Um, we found berries. Did we take them? Uh, forget about hunting. We're short on bullets, thanks to some thief. They steal the weirdest things. Do you guys remember the thieves in Golden Axe? That, oh man... So in Golden Axe, you'd have to fight your way through a level, and then at the end of the level, your characters would be resting at night by a fireplace, and these little thieves would come and take all your power-ups, and you had to, like, kick them and, and fight them to get them back. And if you didn't do it fast enough, they ran away with them. It's the only game that I can think of off the top of my head where they actually stole your power-ups at the end of a level. Um, it was kind of fun. I'm not bashing Golden Axe. Golden Axe is great. In fact, I should play it eventually, but it's just kind of... Kind of reminds me of that, only I don't have a chance to actually get the thief. I wish I could hunt thieves. That's what I want to hunt. You are now at Independence Rock. We're looking around. Let's see what we see. It's a giant river. See uh, some teenagers pulled their oxen up to a parking lot. Probably McDonald's. Having some fun. And what are we doing here? What are we doing uh you know let's try and trade he wants one ox no we're not gonna do that let's just get out of here in fact i'm sick of this pace we're gonna go strenuous yeah it's not grueling but it's a little bit more than steady grueling was just so hard People didn't like it. I could tell. The game didn't tell me, but I knew they didn't like it. It's in the name, grueling. Ugh, nobody wants a grueling pace. Your boss is giving you grueling deadlines. It's not a good thing. You're now at South Pass. Would you like to look around? I want to say no to one of these, but I kind of want to see what there's. Is there? Like, that's kind of funny. I wonder if that's the thief. Shoot him. All right, talk to people. Attempt to trade. Now let's talk to people. See what they have to say. A Mormon. Hmm. There were. Uh, that's funny. There were Mormons in this game. My family and I traveled 
or travel with 40 other families, oh my goodness, to the Valley of the Great Salt Lake to seek religious freedom. Back East, Mormons are persecuted. In Utah, we'll join together, build a new community, changing desert into farmland. Do you know why the Mormons were persecuted? Because they were polygamists. I'm not judging. I don't care. But that's why they were persecuted. They've done quite well for themselves. Have you been to Salt Lake recently? Crime may not pay, but religion sure does. I'll say that. Head for the Green River Crossing. Let's see this map. Okay. Where's the Green River Crossing? Fort Brigadier. Let's head for the fort. Let's see what there is. Pass 125 miles. Oh, our, our health is poor. Or it's fair. Uh, let's, let's hunt again. Why not? Let's kill some things. It's been a it's been a grueling trek. Oh oh come on ah oh, do you see that? Okay we got him. That's right, we're eating bear. In fact, I'm gonna fashion a new set of clothes, which I will wear while I sleep. And should a thief venture in, he will think I am a monster. He will turn away and he will not steal my bullets or the clothes that I'm currently wearing. And the animals you shot, 70 pounds of meat. It's great. All right, let's just go. We're almost at the fort. People are just okay. That's fine. Yes. It's a fort. Uh, change check. What are our supplies looking like? We probably need another oxen. We have tons of bullets. Could use wheels or axles. We're getting low on food. Oh, let's trade this time. One wagon tongue. I that's a terrible trade. A I don't need clothes. B I have enough wagon tongues. Can we trade again? We'll get someone different. What in what world is like a, a submachine gun's wealth of bullets worth one set of clothes? It better that better have been a tuxedo that I just turned down. I'm just gonna buy stuff. Again, I have the money. I'm rich. Let's buy three. Let's go all out. Clothes, ammo. I mean I guess I'm supposed to be paying attention to this, you know this stuff, but I, I'm not really. I'm sure the prices go up and down. If you're savvy, you can like get a deal. You know, like get an axle for half price. Oh, whoops. No, five, two, four, one. Oh, okay, I'm buying stuff. It's working. But like, who has time to be savvy? That's why we picked a banker. So I don't actually know what any of the other classes, so to speak, are. There's like a farmer and something else. I don't even know. Everyone always picked the banker because you just, uh, weather's bad. You wanted money, you know. Uh, we should have rested in town. Let's do a four-day weekend. Going to romp around in the hills. Still only fair. Let's uh, rest a little more. You know what? We're taking a week off. Build a campfire, have some adventures, good times. Good thing is I see some water coming up, so I'm not too concerned. Uh, well, we're probably going to lose an oxen or something if that keeps up. Water. Soda Springs, yes. There better be some Coke references. Uh, well, people are having a good time. Usually in Coke commercials, people are having a good time, so I'll take it. Rest for a long weekend. Man, you guys, you're a lazy bunch. It's like August, man. How It's going to take us forever to get there. Okay, you know what? 
have to change the pace because these people can't handle real work. Gonna rest again. This is like two weeks off. There we go. Just wanted one more day. Eh? Let's see what people say. Miles Hendrick tells you, I've heard it said that there are many cutoffs to take to shorten the journey. That by taking all the shortcuts, you can save many days on the trail. And why not? Saving time provisions is worth the risk. I mean, that just makes logical sense, my friend. All right, we're, we're full of water and soda. Continue on. What is Soda Springs? I, I mean, these are real places, obviously. Does it have anything to do with, like, carbonation? Or is it just a name? Fort Hall. Okay. You know, this is actually turning out to be a long video. I think we're up to 32 minutes. Uh, yeah. Would you like to look around? Yes. Another fort. You can tell somebody made these in, like, paintbrush, you know? Like an old compact laptop. Do we want to talk to people? What do people say? Aunt Rebecca. Who's aunt? Do they just call her Aunt Rebecca? I mean, that's kind of a... I don't know how you earn that nickname. Here, there's mountain sheep around he here. Okay, yeah. She hears that there's mountain sheep around here. Enough water, too, but hardly a stick of wood. Thank heaven for Fort Hall, but I'm really sorry to be saying goodbye to my cousin Miles and all the folks heading for California. Well, you could go, too, Aunt Rebecca. I think Uncle Jesse's looking for you. Uh, yeah. Change the pace. Let's go. You know what? We are not... Oh, what do they mean? You travel about 16 hours a day, starting before sunrise until dark. You never stop to rest. You do not get enough sleep at night. You finish each day feeling absolutely exhausted. That is the fate that I want to bestow upon my weary travelers. They haven't been earning their keep. Well, actually, they've been doing pretty well. One case of cholera and a, a drowning in a river of 3.5 feet. It's kind of perplexing, actually. I think she wanted out. Told ya, somebody always breaks something. What was he doing? How did he break a leg? Didn't make any sense. Just sit in the cart. Don't move around too much. Doesn't make any sense. Okay, here we go. We're at a river. People are in poor health. We've been rushing it. The video's getting long, though. There's nothing I can do. You are now at the Snake River Crossing. Would you like to look around? I certainly would. It's always a Native American kind of pointing at things, telling me what's up. Oh, we're in poor health now. Let's change that pace back. All right, you pansies, you can have your steady pace. You've been eating like kings the whole time. I don't understand what the problem is. Uh, a frantic wife tells you, it says right here in the Shively Guidebook, you must hire an Indian to pilot you at the crossings of the Snake River, it being dangerous if not perfectly understood. But my, my husband insists on crossing without a guide. I believe Native American is the preferred nomenclature, my dear. I don't know about this Indian thing. It's kind of racist these days. Um, I mean, let's rest because people are about to, like, on death's door. This is a long road trip. I would have been there by now. Oh my god. Uh, fine. Your two weeks paid vacation. Just use up my supplies. The bank. Let's check our supplies actually. Uh, two. Oh, we have no food left. All right. Uh, change the rations to bare bones. All right. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 1,000 feet across and 6 feet deep. Well, we drowned in 3 feet of water, so we're definitely not going to just gun it. Ford, cock. I mean, they said hire an Indian, so let's do it. Uh, Shoshone Guide says that he will take your wagon across the river in exchange for three sets of clothing. Yes. Everyone wants clothes. It doesn't make any sense. 
guide you. I mean, I guess if it's keeping you warm or whatever, they're winter clothes. All right. If this Indian screws us. All right. I guess that's okay. Okay, but what we really need to do is stop and hunt. Because we need food. We need to eat animals. Oh, you jerk. Oh, this corner position is really horrible when they do it to you. Because anything that comes in on the left is going to leave right away. Unless I sit here like this. Very vigilant. Come on. Come on, I know you're there. Oh. And they like they come in the corners, they bump into something, they run away, firing angrily. I'm hungry. Oh, you know if I wasn't messing around, I probably could have got that guy. Serves me right. Like, look at this. Can you move? I wish you could. You probably. I'm skipping the instructions. I bet you totally can. And I'm just missing it. I'm not gonna kill a thing here. This is it. It's gonna be embarrassing. Like that deer just asking for it. I, I would like to kill you. Oh, oh, uh, come on. Yes, the bear will do. Uh, we're gonna have to hunt. Yeah, you can't move. In the zombie version that are that's on like smartphones and stuff these days, you can walk around. So it's actually pretty fun, and you're shooting zombies in this this part you should totally check it out if you haven't ever heard of it or tried it you shan't be disappointed oh you know I never thought I'd run out of food now I'm thinking I'm probably gonna run out of bullets too I thought I had so much that it wouldn't matter uh, well, we're going to change our food rations to be meager. We're going to hunt one more time, and then we're going to get on the road, guys. Everyone hates distractions. Bear will do. As will that guy. I mean, that's probably all we need. If you insist. If you insist. He... He knew it was coming. Give him one more. Always good to double tap him like a zombie. You never know. Yeah. Okay, now let's check our rations. Uh, check supplies. 200. Eh, that's good. Whatever. And we found fruit, which I assume we took. It doesn't tell you that you took it. it just says you found it. So, whatever. We don't eat fruit anyway. Brian has exhaustion. What does that mean? He's tired? We're all tired, man. Man up. Bad water. Nothing's happened to me or Vivian. I don't know if anything happens to you if you're the main character. Uh, but Vivian's really beat the odds. <clears throat> okay, well, that's what we have spare parts for. Proceed. Now, yep, people are getting sick. Uh, time to stop and rest. Let's rest for 10 days. You know what? Oh, can't. Nine. Give people a break. I don't know when the deadline is. Like, do we have a job waiting for us if we're not there by October 15th? We don't get it. I don't know. Let's try and trade. Yeah, sure. Take my clothing. I just want food. We're hungry. We're very hungry. We like to eat. We need to hunt. Alright. Come on. Up. You know, I don't take this very seriously when I hunt. Kind of like just showboating. Um, it's kind of because this game feels... we Feels uh, so old. I'm not taking it too seriously, but if I really tried. <laughs> yeah, right, right. That's what everyone always says. Well, if I really tried, I'd do better. But 
That's just an excuse for when you do bad at something. Well, if I really tried, I wouldn't be bad. Well, why weren't you trying? Uh, I don't know. Is there a strategy where you could like, because now I've just totally blocked off the whole left side. If like a deer comes or something, I can't shoot it, right? So there's probably like some high level Oregon Trail strategy of like, what are you gonna kill? Where is it worth your time to shoot it and block off part of the map, you know? We're at 41 minutes, guys. If you're still watching, bravo. Somehow I've entertained you and that delights me to no end. Uh, we're just going to spin till we puke and there we go. We puked. And we came back with a bunch of food. Uh, we are going to rest. Man. What a, what a game to play. I went from playing like Pong and Breakout where like I'm struggling to get like 15, 20 minutes of gameplay. Like what might as well be like an RPG. I mean, there's no end in sight. You're in for the long haul. You're this thrilling cross-country adventure. What am I, what am I even doing? Uh, we're going to rest. We'll look at supplies, rest for four days. If people could stop getting sick and breaking appendages, we could really fly through. I mean, what's the map look like? Uh, can we look at the map? Three. Wow, look at that. Look at the land we've covered. Just continue on to Canada, man. They got good, good skiing in, in BC there. Forget Oregon. All those hippies and hipsters. Nah, we'll go to Oregon. I don't know what's there. That's one thing I never understood about this game. What's waiting for us in Oregon? 45 cents a pound. Well, it's higher than before, but I don't really know if that's good or bad. 300 pounds, because I'm sick of hunting. I just want to gun it and run it, man. We got we to gotta get to Oregon. I don't know what's there. But if we don't get there, I know something bad's going to happen. We're going to miss the Halloween party. It's almost Halloween. A blizzard? Uh-oh. Maybe we shouldn't have traded all our clothes away, considering weather is cold. I thought it'd be hot. How many some, do we have enough clothes? We, have four, we literally have one set of clothes per person. We've traded the rest away somehow or had it stolen. I don't know, even know. We're not the most modest group. We don't really seem to have trouble just giving our clothes away we're in really bad shape though we're not eating much and we're <laughs> we're pushing ourselves too hard so okay let's change our rations because we just bought a bunch of food filling let's rest let's have a party in the winter long day weekend baby but now we really got to go guys because halloween party waits for no man or woman we have very little water just eat the snow well, at least he stole something useful. I would like a more advanced version of this game. We can set watches. We can catch thieves. And then you have, like, these gray, morally ambiguous choices of what to do. You know, like, do you set him free? Do you cut his hand off so he won't do it again? Do you just kill him? You know, what if he comes back with his friends if you set him free? I want, like, a Game of Thrones-style Oregon Trail. Where it's, like, very... Or, or Walking Dead. A very morally ambiguous ambiguous educational game that's what i want somebody make that what are our supplies at we got so much food we're fine on oxen i mean we haven't been using our bullets we really should be hunting more but it just takes so much time we don't need to i don't like killing if i don't have to i like to let nature do its thing yes who died here here lies scott the code is FT. Hmm. Uh, we're, we're just getting all... We missed the Halloween party, guys. November 2nd. Uh, we should just turn around now. We should just go home. Road trip failed. We, what, we keep encountering impassable trails. Vivian got sick. Only a matter of time. You be sick, honey. Rest of us will pull our weight together. 
that saying isn't a saying, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Find an abandoned wagon with two sets of clothes. Hmm. Okay. I mean, we're not above taking random sets of clothes. We're just going to go, man. This, this video has been going on so long. I don't want to look. I'm sure they're luxurious and beautiful. Ooh. Head for the dolls. The dolls was something, I remember. So we're just going to go there. And we're going to gun it. People are going to die. We're going out in a glaze of blow, a glaze of glory, a blaze of glory. One of the oxen's injured. I don't care, man. We're not stopping. We don't stop for nothing. I will look at this, whatever this is. This looks interesting. We're running out of food like crazy. I think I'm eating it all. Would you like to look around? Yes. Is this the end? Talk to people. I collect the tolls for the Barlow Road, a bargain at twice the price. Until last, ye till last year, the Overlander had no choice. Everyone floated to Columbia. Now, with Mr. Barlow's new, new road, you can drive your wagon right into Oregon City. That sounds like what I want. Though I'm not above taking a chance on the Columbia River. Well, we have money. Pay the toll, man. $7.50. Imagine saying no to that. Eh. Eh, I'll go down this treacherous river instead. Oh. 100 miles. We're gonna... We gotta keep going, man. We can't... Pussyfoot around anymore. Derek's breaking arms. I mean, like, are they sitting in the wagon so hard... Well, take our bullets. Are they sitting in the wagon so hard that their arms are getting broke? What's happening to these people? Oh, Ryan has typhoid. We're not stopping. We're going. We we have no food. We have literally no food. People are starving to death. How long can they live without food? It's been like a week. These people would... You wouldn't have cholera. You'd have the hunger. We're in a valley. It looks nice. Oh. We're in Oregon. I guess my leadership wasn't as bad as I thought. Let's see how many points we got. Four people in very poor health. Well, <laughs> they made it. They might have been on death's door, but they made it. We did have one wagon. That stayed with us the whole time. Five oxen. Some came in, some came out. Uh, we had a ton of ammo. We were... We showed up with four people who were very sickly. We had very little clothing, but we were armed to the teeth. And we had not an not one pound of food. But we had cash, and that's what matters. Did we Oh, we ranked. Yes. I will take it. Oof. Just under a thousand. How insulting. Would you like to make any changes? Can I change my position? Oh, I can change my name. Thought it was like, well, if you don't like that spot on the leaderboard, where can we put you? Where can we, how can we help you today? And that's it. Did we learn anything today, guys? I think we learned that road trips were a lot less fun back in the day. And that apparently you don't need clothes. You can survive weeks on the Oregon Trail without clothes. Nobody really bats an eye. Um... Should you play Oregon Trail before you die? Definitely. If you've never played this game before, I actually had a lot of fun with this. It's this weird old educational game that was... It, it was like the first RPG. You could take a character and you could buy stuff and trade stuff. And yeah, you didn't develop skills or anything. But it was the first real adventure game that I ever remember playing. And I think it's, it's still fun. If Oregon Trail looks too boring for you, check out the zombie version of it. It is great, and that's about all I have to say. We're up to 51 minutes. If you have listened from start to finish, you are great. And I think that means that you like me enough that you should either like or subscribe. There will be a new video in a couple of days, so if, if today was good, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I'll see you in a couple, and as always, peace.